What up? It's Tony Pony. It's gonna be a long video. I'm gonna talk about uh, my ET stuff. Because I told in my dream vlog yesterday, I think. I was gonna talk about it because there's gonna be a lot of, well, not a lot, but uh, gonna be some extreme ET stuff going on in my dreams. Uh, maybe this is, will be uh, a little bit crucial information why I dream all this shit. So. But the story um, I'm about to tell you involves another person. No. Uh, but how should I begin, anyways? Yeah. So, yeah. Gonna begin with the beginning. Uh, years ago, I was. Uh, dabbling in meditation you know I found it out on YouTube I was doing it just to relax and I and it helped I, I just meditated just before I went to sleep and, and then I fell asleep okay so every once in a while I had a flash of a ET like great type the one with the big eyes and like it was gone i was thinking like oh well i have a wild imagination or something and i wrote it off as imagination so yeah uh, that happens a little bit and now uh, last year i got uh hospitalized I had a stroke uh, I had like blood clots in my eye not in my brain well a little bit in my brain but uh, most of them went in, my, went in my eye so I was homebound and uh, so I had a lot more time so I was meditating then also and uh, these ET faces it was harder and harder, man. It was holy fuck, man. It was like a bombardment of ET faces when in meditation. And, uh, you know, meditation, it's all about being relaxed and being at peace. Well, <laughs> this was nothing being relaxed or in peace. This was fucking pure terror man it was holy fuck but this wasn't every day it was sometimes and uh oh, i was like what the fuck is this shit man so a while uh a while later i uh i was looking on youtube i was bored and uh, i was looking for remote viewing missing people so i found this person that was doing that of has has done that and uh, his name is Richard Marhaus Marhaus and uh, so I was checking his channel and uh, he had a bunch of ET stuff going on in his life also and uh, they came to him at night sometimes in spirit uh, to talk with the spirits and uh, yeah that happened to him I don't know how much but uh, basically all his life and uh, so he's like this very spiritual person I talk about this dude a lot in my, vlog, in my vlogs. Uh, he's rich. <laughs> Mr. Richards. And uh, 
the thing that he also did in the past, he uh, he was meditating, and he popped out of his body, and uh, you know astral traveling. So he did that, and uh, he did that without any protection, and uh, he was. I think he was roaming the uh, fort dimension or something lower fort and uh he basically was talking to dead people and he says even to this day that uh, that was something uh he shouldn't have done <laughs> it uh it broke the the veil between reality and spirit world so all the spirits would come to him, like the, uh, the drug addicts and uh, the whores and pff, I don't know. But it was very, very bad for him. He was like constantly being approached by these entities. And, uh, uh, also very bad entities like Archons. And, uh, how exactly I don't remember long story I think but he got assigned a Jesus Christ <laughs> real man he says uh, in his videos it's like thousands of them all working together to heal people so uh, he's got a Jesus Christ in this life and uh, I was like well, cool okay uh, right from the beginning when I watched this guy I already had the sense that he was telling the truth that uh, this guy is legit so I don't know why but uh, no I just did. So, you might think like, Jesus Christ, ETs, spirits, this guy's nuts, right? Well, I didn't think that, but I know people gotta think that watch this, like, holy fuck, this guy's nuts. But, uh, Especially for Hillary, this goes out to Hillary, the story that I'm going to tell you guys. So, uh, Hillary is a religious person and uh, she doesn't believe in ETs. I'm not going to prove you wrong, but uh, I'm just going to tell the story. And... Uh, It was last summer then. I known this Richard guy for all six weeks, I think, back then. And I was bored and uh, I was laying here and I was getting visions all day from a ET craft, a UFO, at a place that I knew. And I was thinking, what is this shit? Why, why am I getting this image in my mind? So, uh, I also know from this Richard guy, yes, CE5 uh, videos on his channel, which is calling up UFOs and he's filming them, uh, was filming them. So, but he didn't really, well, really think, uh, really explain how to do it. I don't know. I don't know how, but uh, I just typed it in how to do CE5. And uh, I, gave, I clicked on the first video I saw and it was from a famous dude. His name is um, Dr. Stephen Greer. Uh, the CE5 protocol. So, uh, I was like, okay. And he said, yo, you gotta, gotta do uh, a little bit of meditation and you gotta 
send out a message into the universe about your location uh, what you want to see where you want to see it and at the time so that's exactly what I did so uh, I did that meditation and uh, I just did it and uh, the next day I went to that location and uh, I, so <laughs> I really waited for uh, this UFO to appear so nothing happens didn't see anything I was like what kind of bullshit was this man so I went home and uh, the day went by I went to bed next day I wake up and uh, I see my inbox at my Facebook and uh, this Richard guy sent me a message and uh, uh, I quote <laughs> well I woke up this morning and JC Jesus Christ tells me that the ETs want you to do the CE5 thing again <laughs> I was going insane man. I was like holy fuck how can he know that how can he know that shit man holy fuck and I was like Phew. my mind was blowing even even now I, I feel it in my body man and uh, right there at that moment that was like this Richard guy is legit I knew he was legit but I knew 100% this G JC thing was real, so Jesus Christ is real, and these ETs are real. <laughs> uh, and I basically, uh, well, I freaked out f at first, and uh, but this Richard guy after this message he uh, became a little bit pissed because uh, he's well not really pissed he was kind of bitching <laughs> said uh, that was very very dangerous what I did that uh, I might as well uh, could have been adopted by these ETs and all shit could have gone down. And, uh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. And, uh, he also added to that. I should have done that. In. Oh, it's my water. Oh, sorry man I should have I should have done that within Christ consciousness I was like oh what do you mean it's like Christ consciousness is a force that uh, heals you and uh, it can protect you from certain things and, uh, I was like yeah okay yeah so Christ consciousness it also yeah it heals you it can heal you he tells me and at that message he uh i think he made a video about it later how to call it up i was like okay christ consciousness well he tells us it's like you gotta chant it first you gotta clear your heart or uh, your thing your mind you got a chance like Christ consciousness, Christ consciousness, Christ consciousness, Christ consciousness. And uh, remember that I told I was shit in my eye. So uh, I've been doing a lot of Christ consciousness thing before I go to bed and uh, when I go in meditation. 
So, oh, all these dreams I'm having about ET stuff, it has to do with this Christ consciousness thing. It, uh, it's making me see my truth. This Richard says me, tells me. So, uh, yeah. Oh, that's why I told you guys I'm gonna make this video be before I'm gonna make other dream vlogs so that you have kind of a perspective where all this shit is coming from. So, mm. but last October he uh, had a dream himself, this rich guy that uh, me and him. Are connected so we have like the same ET spark he tell you <laughs> this sounds like saying him but uh he uh, explains that uh thousands of years ago we were probably like neighbors on another planet and this whole ET thing that he's going through went through I uh, are going through that shit as well but uh, not as hard it's it's less so when I meditate and all these images come up it's like uh, calling these ETs and they're sending their energy well they're hooking up to me spiritually and uh that's why i see all these images about ets and uh well that's what he tells me and uh oh yeah i tell, told hillary i had some closure with that so I had it going on for the last six months. So uh, I, uh, out of fear, I quit meditation, but uh, I recently just started again because of one thing. Uh, last summer it was like this day I uh, meditated and I saw all kinds of races, ET races and uh, one of them was a blue, blue ET. And I was talking about this experience, well, this particular experience to a another Facebook friend. And he had also a Facebook group. So I was telling him this and uh, that I was sawing a ET, blue ET with a, uh, with a little nose and uh, I could even see the, the glance in his eyes and uh, it was a woman and uh, basically the next day I was browsing his page on YouTube and uh, I saw an image uh, about that blue ET it was almost an exact match I was like, what the fuck, that's the thing I saw in my meditation. And uh, he tells me it's the Arcturians. So I did some research and uh, turns out these Arcturians are uh, one of the most advanced spiritual races in the universe. <laughs> And I was visited by them, holy fuck, man, I was, holy fuck. But, uh, and that, I was like, oh, and they're the good guys, you know, they're, they're the good guys. And I saw this blue guy only once, but it was super clear. It was like reality in my mind. And this, this blew my mind last Sunday, it was, yeah. So, knowing that, well, I was thinking about it and 
so I looked it up and they're like if the info is right they're like uh, protectors of human race yeah I don't know if that's true I hope it's true but that uh, gave me some courage to meditate again yeah so I did it uh, one meditation was good the, the second one I could see one gray guy just a, an eye and a flash and but a third meditation oh man this was two days ago I saw all kinds of gray guys I was back like six months ago and uh, yeah but now I know how to deal with that shit I know I shouldn't be as afraid as I was back then but uh, after the meditation I could still see them so I couldn't sleep and uh, but uh, it's finally I have I did fell asleep and uh, I only slept like an hour and then I woke up and the first thing I saw in my mind was this the great type like leaving my well going to the ceiling basically but I had my eyes closed and that reminded me of this richer guy he uh, also had that happen to him that this ET hooked up to him to a spirit to I don't know exchange information I guess so that happens and then something weird happens our dog was already outside my mother let him out and usually he barks he barks like burr, 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 all around this thing and, uh, but now when this happens he only barked once like woo and three minutes later he also barked once again never happened before I think he sensed something or she sensed something so sensed something that was really strange uh, yeah. so I'm gonna continue meditating I hope I don't go insane I don't think so but uh, I feel it's important to know you know if there's Richard also tells me there's no way you can escape escape this if you gotta know your truth you're gonna know your truth <laughs> so yeah no way around it man so now you guys also know and uh so yeah Hil hillary you will still want to be my friends <laughs> yeah all this jc stuff Jesus Christ stuff, you're you are religious, right? So uh, it's all a lie. It's religion is a lie. That's what Jesus Christ tells us. <laughs> really? So sorry to tell you, but uh really re <laughs> Religion is something man made to enslave people, to make them act a certain way, but it has little or nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Yeah. So sorry to tell you that. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna link a video about this Richard talking about me. And uh, so you can get you guys can check him out. Okay. 
See you in the next video. Yo.